In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Signature Manager Exchange Edition in minutes. I'll start by downloading the software, I'll show you how to install it, then we'll go through the first use wizard. I'll also set up our sent items update service so you can see how an email looked with the signature on it in your sent items. And lastly, I'll test that feature in Outlook. Let's get started. So here I am on the product page. I'll just click download. I'll type in my details. And click download. The download will begin. And just to note, I'm going to install this on my hub transport server because I'm using Exchange 2010. Same if you're using Exchange 2007. But if you're on 2013, you'll want to install it on your mailbox server. Hub transport server in Exchange 2010. So at this point, the download has completed. And I'll just double click that setup.exe file. And click yes. I'll click setup. I'll click next. I'll accept the terms in the license agreement and click next again. Click next and install. And I'll click finish. In here, it's going to give me the first things I need to get started with Exclaimer Signature Manager Exchange Edition. I'll click Next, Next again. And now by default, it's set to only apply the signature if the sender is the user that's logged in, Brian James, and if the recipient is the user that's logged in installing the software, Brian. Now, instead though, I want to make it so that my sales team get a signature on their emails. So instead of the sender being a specific user, will say that they have to be a particular AD group. Though we could do that with domain, organization unit, or any number of AD attributes, or addresses that contain specific character sequences. So I'll go with AD group here, and we'll just type in sales. And I'll click add. OK. OK again. And then I'll do the same thing for recipient. But here, we're going to say that the recipient has to be outside the organization. Click OK. OK again, and next. So in here, I can choose the template that I want to use on my user's signatures. When I've selected the one I want to use, I can click Next. And then in here, I can click Edit. I can add in images, contact detail fields, and users in marketing, like maybe a graphic designer or a web developer, could edit the signature without accessing the server-side software using Template Editor but that's explained in our other videos. I can preview it for different users, so I can type a user's name here and just click Apply to see how it's going to look for different users. Great. I'm happy with that. I'll click Next, and I'll click Finish to launch the Exclaimer console. OK, so let's say that I've already set up all of my policies. I have everything I need for sales, marketing, but now what I want to do is set up the sent items update service. So for example, in Outlook, if I go to sent items, I can't see my signature on the email after I've sent it. But we're going to add the sent items update service so that we can make exactly that possible. So first, I'm going to click configure sent items update service and click yes. I'll click next. I'll type my password for this account and click Next. Now it's going to run a quick PowerShell script to create that account. I'll click Next. And now it's going to use a PowerShell script to grant it the appropriate rights. Now I'll click Next again and click Finish. Now all I have to do is click Enable Sent Items Update. So under here, it can decide how it handles those sent items. So whether it, for example, just shows me the sent item as it was and then adds another copy with modified at the beginning of the message or whether it's going to replace the original. Let's have it replace the original and I'll click Save. So I'll just type in address
So now when we check sent items, perfect. There it is. Thanks for watching.